And we spoke with someone who knows King Charles well. Julian Payne worked with then Prince Charles for a decade, and he's now a CBS News royal contributor. And we asked him about the years of preparation for this very moment. King Charles III knew that it was going to be a very long time before he was going to be on the throne, by all accounts. Uh, as a result, he knew he could spend his time hunting, shooting, fishing, doing very little if he wanted to. But actually, he decided that the value he could have in those, what turned out to be 50 years, was in actually campaigning for the things he was passionate about. And so he did. I absolutely am certain that he will take the spirit of that into the monarchy now as, as king. How do you think Prince William and Kate's role will change? Well. First of all, let's, let's just note that they have now taken on the role of Prince and Princess of Wales. That is quite a powerful moniker to, to carry. What I think you'll see is they will naturally follow into that role as people that are putting philanthropy at the heart of their work. But I think what you can expect is for that work really to kick up a notch. And also, don't forget that the Prince of Wales now as he is, he also has the Duchy of Cornwall to look after. This is the, the estate which brings in the revenue that pays for the Prince of Wales and his family. So that's a huge job as well. Do you think there's anything that King Charles will do to modernize the monarchy or will we have to wait for Prince William for that? He's always been a modernizer. He put a recycling been in, the, in Buckingham Palace in the early 1980s and got everybody recycling their bottles. This is not somebody who has sat on tradition and never, never changed. He actually is always, always pushing forward. And no doubt the world will be watching.